हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन योर इंग्लिश ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर देवज्योति ब्रेविया एंड इट इज़ रिलेटेड टू योर राइटिंग सेक्शन सो लेट्स गो थ्रू इट क्लास फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट अप विद द टॉपिक नोटिस सो लेट अस कम टू नो व्हाट इज अ नोटिस अ नोटिस इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट पीस ऑफ राइटिंग and is usually written in a formal style it means that while writing notice we have to make very minimum use of words it should be written in a concise manner and in a formal style it means that only necessary information will be added any other unnecessarily or any additional information won't be added in the drafting of notice now students the question comes that who can write notice we know that notice can be written by anyone any individual any institution or organization when we have to announce any event or any occasion or any celebration that is going to be held in any school college or institution or maybe in any organization they can take the help of notice to address the rest of the people then generally notices are stuck to or pasted on the information board meant for the purpose it means that type of notice is completely depend on the number of people whom you want to address if the number of people is less or if the number of people is more then the note drafting of notice and the pasting of notice all these things depend upon the number of the audience if the number of people is limited like in we see in schools and colleges etc then generally what do we do we only pasted the notice on the notice board or if we want to address a large number of audience then what do we do the notice will be published in the news paper now here are some very crucial points to remember before drafting a notice that write a notice in a neat and legible handwriting a notice should always be written in a readable form it should be easy to read and the language should be simple and clear it should be easy to understand by everyone now let's go through the format of the notice here we are having the format of the notice first of all what do we do we have to mention the name of the school or any institution or organization uh, issuing the notice the any institution school that is issuing the notice that's name should be mentioned here and in capital letters the name should be mentioned here in capital letters now next comes the turn to write the word notice that we are stating that this is a notice this part of body is a notice so we will also write the word in capital letters then comes the turn to mention the date we have to write the date then comes the turn of heading or subject students always keep it in mind that the heading should be very clear and easy to understand it should be very clear to indicate the purpose of writing the notice it should be eye catching then comes the turn of content content means the body of the notice what you want to write in the notice that we call content of the notice we have to take care of certain points while writing the content of the notice that we have to mention the target group target group means to whom you want to address jin ke liye aapne notice likha hai you will mention the target group next the purpose of writing the notice should be clear and the third point is that if there is any event or any meeting or any competition is to be is going to be organized then don't forget to mention the date the time and the venue of that event meeting or 
competition and the next point regarding content of the notice is whom to contact it means if there is any inquiry to whom someone should contact so uh, students there will be description of that person should be mentioned so we see that these are the crucial points to write the content of the notice now comes the turn of signature of the person the person who is drafting this notice the person who is writing this notice his or her signature should be done here then the name should also be mentioned of the similar person in capital letters now comes the turn of the designation designation means post whether you are a head boy or a head girl or any monitor or any uh, you know sports monitor any uh, designation you are having you have to mention here maybe you are secretary of cultural group anything you can be is it okay students but last but not the least don't forget to put the ma uh, notice in the box a notice it is must to put the notice in a box a notice must be put up in the box and we also see that if it is required anywhere we can also use symbols and abbreviations means short forms if it is necessary we can also use somewhere in the notice and not any irrelevant information is to be put up in the notice as it is you it is written in a formal style yes students and one more point a notice is generally written in third person we will go with the third person he she it and they so avoid to use first person or the second person avoid to use i we and you it should be written in third person and generally in which tense do we write notice the answer lies here that present tense and future tense we always use present tense and future tense to write the notice so this was the main crucial points of the notice to write the notice and the format of the notice i hope class that now you are well acquainted how to write the notice how to uh, draft the format of a notice and what main points to keep it in mind before drafting a notice i want you students to go through the points again and to just go through the format again because practice makes a man perfect keep on learning keep on gaining thank you students for watching the video good